Hi everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit in this video about what I consider to be one of the most neglected aspects of making a film, especially a, uh, you know, do-it-yourself, uh, independent film. And that is producing. Producing is a skill that I think tends to get overlooked because it's not immediately, it's not seen as an immediately creative skill. Unlike writing, unlike directing, you know, cinematography and editing, those those are skills that have, you know, an obvious creative application uh, where the results can be seen in the finished film. You can point to the editing, you can point to the cinematography, uh, the, the the writing of the script, and so on. But producing is really the foundation, uh, or I should say, producing is building the foundation on which all of these other aspects of the production process can then uh, take shape. Producing is a skill that I have to admit I did not fully appreciate until um, until I was in film school, as a matter of fact. It was one of the most, uh, w one of the classes that I took in film school that I consider to be really a valuable learning experience that I might not have had otherwise. And it was a class about producing for media. Now, it wasn't film specifically, though one of the um, assignments that we had was to draw up a, you know, a production plan for a short film. But the, uh, the assignments covered everything from, you know, doing like news style segments to, uh, I think, you know, a educational video or corporate video uh, production. And as I say, a, sh a short film production was one of those um, one of one of the assignments that we had to follow. Now, anyway, the the thing that that really um, that that I really took away from this experience was just how much this organizational aspect brings to putting a film together. Now, that may sound obvious, and of course, I was aware. Uh, you know, you've got to have you've got to be organized. But um, what I think this that it really gave me was an appreciation for uh, something that I think a lot of beginning filmmakers, myself included certainly when I was beginning, take for granted, which is you have this idea. You, you have this idea for a movie that it's in your head. You know, you see the characters, you see the costumes, the props, the settings, all these different things. But how do you translate that from your, your imagination to the real world in order to be photographed for the movie. And that to me is really at the heart of what a producer does. Uh, directors too, of course. I mean, all, all the creative you know, fields are, are a, a part of bringing these visions to the screen. But what I mean to say is that what a producer does with this situation is to look at these different elements that you need and uh, to break it down, you know, to break the ideas down, the script, um, to, to break the script down, and really look at what you need in order to make this movie. Now, of course, on, you know, major Hollywood films, there's a lot of people who are involved in things like, you know, budget, uh, budgeting, planning, uh, you know, there's whole, you know, there's whole teams, really, that uh, take care of these issues. But uh, when you're making your own film, when you're a DIY indie a filmmaker, you pretty much have to take care of this yourself, unless you have a, a dedicated producer that you're working with. And I think that if you do, that could be a collaboration and a, a relationship that is uh, really important to build and to you know value what what that person brings to a project. But let's say you're doing it all yourself. Let's say you are your own producer. Um, you know, as I am right now, if I have an idea for a film it falls back you know, entirely onto me to think about what do I need to get together uh, in order to be able to make this movie. You know, whether it's something as simple as me sitting inside my own house uh, or you know, filming myself uh, while out on a vacation or whatever the scenario is, you, know, you, have to, you just have to think about what do you physically need in place to be able to make this movie. And I've... Um, I've thought about this because producing, one of the things about producing to me is that it's easy to take it for granted, right? I think it's something that um, because a good producer, like a lot of skilled people on a film, if they're doing their job um, 
if they're doing their job right, you kind of don't ever really notice it because everything is in place, everything is there, everything that needs to happen, happens. But there are so many different things that a, a, a producer needs to take into account. And if you don't have the experience of thinking through these things, this is where I think making short films, for example, starting really small and uh, grow, growing out from that can be a great experience to build your skills as a producer. You know, to, to start with a very simple scenario and to think about, okay, what do I need in order to make this happen? Uh, one of the things, when I look back on my very earliest films that I made when I was, you know, very young, one of the things that I find kind of interesting and also kind of amusing about them now looking back is how I just sort of took it for granted that what I saw in my head was what was going to end up on the screen. So I would make a movie, like a sci-fi movie, without any regard for things like costumes, settings. You know, I would shoot it in my parents' backyard, uh, you know, using just, just whatever was there. And I, I, I think there is something kind of... Uh, there, there can be something kind of uh, endearing about that when you look at it, you know, a very a film that's made very early on by somebody who is, uh, is, is making movies, that you can look at it and see sort of the, the rudimentary uh, skeleton of these ideas that they want to put on the screen. But, uh, of course, as I made more movies and I looked at these uh, films, you know, I'd be, I of course, recognize that what I was seeing in my head was not what was actually on the screen. And as I continued, you know, with making short films, I got, I became more and more aware of that and became more attentive to, to detail, to, uh, you know, what, what I would actually need to put in front of the camera in order to really film what I was envisioning. Of course, you know, we're talking about movies that I was making when I was, you know, 11, 12 years old. So I, I'm, I think that most of, the, from people uh, making f films, uh, you know, much later than that, I, I think these are, of course, things that you're, you're thinking about. Um, I just bring it up as an example from my own experience of where I was, when I was very first starting out, I wasn't giving any thoughts to these ideas, but as I watched the movies and became more and more aware of their shortcomings, I saw what, um, you know, I, I slowly but surely learned what producing uh, really brings to a project and, and why it's so important to think about these issues. Um, but I think no matter what kind of films you're making, whether you're making one minute short films or whether you're making, um, you know, uh, DIY feature, indie feature films, you know, I think all these ideas certainly apply. It's, it's probably just a matter of degrees, a matter of scale, you know. I always remember this quote by Ray Dennis Steckler, and Ray Dennis Steckler was a, an independent filmmaker in the, in the early 60s. He did a lot of, you know, B-movie exploitation type, type of films, I, you know, drive-in movie type of films. And he said that he often worked without a script. He said in this interview that he, he often worked without a script. And people would ask him, you know, why are you working without a completed script? And he said, well, every time that we have a completed script, you have to get all these different things together that you need for the movie. And by the time you get all these things together that you need to film the script, it's too late to make the movie. And I, th I think that's, a, uh, that's an interesting comment and I think it is one of the reasons why improv filmmaking can be a good way around uh, you know if you have very limited resources if you can think creatively on your feet improv filmmaking can sort of be a, a way of you know circumventing some of these issues that you get into when you're when you're waiting for all the things to come together that you need for your script uh, that, that, that story just kind of sticks in my mind uh, in talking about all of this Anyway, like I said, I think you know producing is an underrated uh, skill set in, uh, in, for, for a lot of filmmakers. And uh, I just wanted to share these thoughts with my own experiences when it comes to producing you know, my own films over the years and uh, just how I've found myself thinking differently about it as I, I guess as I just continue to get more and more experience. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.